X-47B Unmanned Combat Air System UCAS. The X-47B is an unmanned combat air system carrier UCAS, being developed by Northrop Grumman for the U.S. Navy USN. The strike fighter sized unmanned aircraft is currently in its demonstration phase. The unmanned aircraft was first developed as part of the X-47 program. Airworthiness of the X-47B unmanned combat air system demonstrator was developed at an estimated cost of $813 million. The aircraft performed a successful initial test flight at Patuxent River, Maryland, U.S. in July of 2012. The X-47B is expected to enter active naval service by 2019. Deployment History of UCASD The X-47B UCAS was developed by the U.S. Navy as part of the Unmanned Combat Air System Carrier Demonstration UCASD program. The program aims to develop and demonstrate which fighter sized tailless unmanned aircraft can be deployed from U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. The X 47B is a variant of Pegasus X 47A, which was developed in a joint USAF and USN program called JUCAS in 2001. The program was funded by DARPA with Northrop Grumman as the main contractor. In February 2006, however, the UCAS development program was canceled for separate UAV development programs by both the Defense Forces. Development of the X-47B, which had started in June 2005, was temporarily halted following the cancellation. The U.S. Naval Air Systems Command Nav Air, contracted Northrop Grumman for the construction and demonstration of two X-47B aircraft under the Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstrator UCASD, program in August 2007. The UCASD program also aims to pave the way for developing potential future carrier-compatible unmanned systems with little risk. Companies collaborating on UCASD program include Rockwell Collins, Goodrich, Lockheed Martin, Parker Aerospace, Honeywell, JKN Aerospace, General Electric, GE, Wind River, Dell, Hamilton Sunstrand, Pratt & Whitney, Eaton, and Moog. Design and Features of the X-47B the tailless unmanned aircraft is 38.2 feet long and has a wingspan of 62.1 feet. The shape of the aircraft is designed for stealth or low observable relevant requirements. The weapons bay can carry 4,500 pounds of weapons. Operations of the computer controlled X 47B UCAS are smart and its flight control system is autonomous. The navigation of the UCAS is controlled by Hybrid Global Positioning System GPS, vision based system. The flight path is pre programmed and its operations are monitored by a mission operator. The UCAS is equipped with Electro Optics EO, Infrared IR, Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR, Inverse SAR, Ground Moving Target Indicator GMTI, Electronic Support Measures ESM, and Maritime Moving Target Indicator and Maritime Moving Targets. The UCASD will feature both probe and drogue of the U.S. Navy and boom receptacle mechanisms of the USAF for autonomous air refueling. X-47B Engine and Performance Details The X-47B is powered by a Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-220U engine and exhaust system. The aircraft has a high subsonic speed of approximately 0.45 meters 
and a range of roughly 2,100 nautical miles. The UCAS can fly to a maximum altitude of 40,000 feet. Two autonomous jet-powered X-47B aircraft were built under the UCASD program. The two demonstration vehicles have similar design and hardware features. However, only one is equipped to test aerial refueling tasks. They can accommodate various kinds of sensors for reconnaissance, intelligence and surveillance and have space for weapon systems. Payload is not installed on the demonstration units. The first X-47B, including structural proof testing, was completed by October 2009. Named Air Vehicle 1, AV-1, the aircraft was transferred to Edwards Air Force Base, AFB, for flight testing in July 2010. The second aircraft, named AV-2, arrived at the base for testing in March 2011. The first flight test of the UCASD was conducted in February 2011. The first catapult launch of X-47B was conducted at an onshore catapult facility at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in November 2012. The first at-sea test phase involving a series of deck handling trials aboard the USS Harry S. Truman CVN-75 was completed in December 2012. The aircraft will also be tested for launching, operating and recovering capabilities in a Navy carrier operable area of 50 nautical miles. The carrier launch, recovery and deck handling tests were completed in December 2012. The aerial refueling demonstrations were carried out in April 2015.